her? Yes. Who is this? It's me, Ludmilla. Listen, you have to come home. Ludmilla? What happened? It's Mom. She... She's dead. What? What the hell are you talking about? She hanged herself. God damn it. Are you telling me the truth? You think I lie about such a thing? She's dead as Lazarus. She's hanging by a rope in the closet. Oh my God. I'm so scared. It's dark and raining and... And I'm all by myself. What do I do? What do you do? Why the hell did you call me in the first place? Call the damn police or an ambulance. Please tell me you'll come home. I can't come home right now. What? What the hell do you mean? You have to come home. Our mother is dead and you just... Listen, I can't. Not now. I have a job and it's not the sort of thing I can walk away from. What the hell is with your job? You left me and mom just as father did. You're a selfish bastard. Listen... If I could, I would come right away, but I really can't. I'll be home by Christmas, okay? No, it's not okay at all. You have to come at once. I can't wait that long. I'm all by myself here. Why can't you understand? I'm sorry. Right? Are you there? Lazarus? No. No! What do I do? You bastard. This old place I left when I turned 16. I didn't miss it. Why the hell didn't I just come to the funeral? That last job was a mess. And now, I need to lay low for a while. I hope at least my sister will forgive me. I should have brought some flowers. She must be expecting me. Aside from going to work, she never leaves the apartment. Ludmila, I'm home. It's locked. Often called a dictator, the new president has won the... Increasing the minimum wage by 70% can mean for our country that just came out of the communist regime a total disaster. Nobody knows where this money will come from. This was my father's typewriter. After he left us, our mother started writing weird religious poems and giving them to the neighbors. Made us look like a family of fanatics. Problem that personally reminds me of the Damn it. of the communist regime. I should find a new light bulb. The requirement bulb. to declare each trip outside the city as well as the exact purpose. This is up. Quite a lot of pills. Mom had a disturbing addiction to painkillers. Ludmilla should have thrown them away. My mother always said she'd like to, to die free. listening we to the ticking of this clock. And for the wise, but in the end, we she hanged herself in the storage really. closet. You want to go back? If we restrict our freedom of movement, then it means we're facing a real problem. As we all know, the frontiers were closed to the regular citizens. In other words, me or you, the ones at home, cannot leave the country unless you have a special act approved by the authorities. And this is almost impossible to obtain. We have countless of complaints about this abuse. This is inadmissible. This issue is well known to the president who chose a populist measure precisely to buy our freedom. This 70% was offered to us in exchange for freedom, and we accepted it. We voted for a new dictator. From my point of view, this is a death sentence. This is the truth. Just wait for what will happen in the next few days. Hmm. Strange. This is the place where my mother took her life.
only photo of mom and dad together. Me, back in the day. My little sister, Ludmilla. Hmm, it's locked, but I see a dim light coming from inside. You look a little rough, old boy. I hate to break this to you, but you fit perfectly in this old, decrepit place. So I understand that we have five more minutes. Okay, let's talk about Father Abraham, all right? Everyone knows that. How on earth can we eat this thing? It looks like it's stood here for days. The stench is overwhelming. What the hell, Lumilla? Dear fellow citizens, just by looking out the window. Hello? Lazarus, you finally arrived. Yes, a few moments ago. I thought you'd be home. Where are you? I'm beside her mother. Are you still at the cemetery? You should hurry up and catch a bus or else... Don't worry, I can handle it on my own. Listen, I brought you money. Enough to start a new life somewhere else. I want you to know that I am very sorry. There's no need to be sorry. I have forgiven you already, Lazarus. We all make mistakes from time to time. I have my own sins. Oh, thank you. Listen, you should hurry up. It's cold and dark already. By the way, where are you calling from? Ludmilla? Are you still there? Hello? Yeah, that's enough. This is a sign that the world is coming to an end. The return of our Lord Jesus Christ is nigh. Many say this is conspiracy.
the hell was that? cracks on this wall, and a foul stench is coming from behind. This is madness. She even locked the bathroom door. What the hell is this thing? Losing my mind? What the devil was that? I should call the police right away. Hello, what's your emergency? You need to send someone. There's a creature in my bathroom. A hideous monster. Something like... Sir, please calm down and try to speak louder. I can't speak louder. The thing is right next to me. Just behind the door, there's a horrible thing there. The earthquake must have caused it to come out. It's sticking out of the toilet, and there's there's black stuff smeared on the walls. Please send someone. Okay, I'm going to ask you to calm down and back away from the door. Try to arm yourself with a knife if possible. Are you kidding? It's a bloody monster. How would a knife help me? Damn you. Just send someone. Oh, God. It's happening again. Please calm down. You are not the only emergency. There are reports from all over the city about abnormal activities and strange occurrences. You are not our first priority. No, no! Damn you! This is ridiculous. I'm not fighting a damn monster with a knife. Open this damned door!
I must be hallucinating. This is rather disturbing. I'm not staying here any longer. I'm going after Ludmila at the cemetery, and then we'll go straight to a motel. To hell with this damned place. I left the apartment immediately. I drove on the muddy roads towards the Kalima region, where my mother was buried. I was overwhelmed by an unexplainable rush of anxiety, fearing for my sister's safety. The decision to close the country's borders has sparked controversy, especially among ordinary people. The fact that only rich citizens with political connections seem to have access to documents that would allow them to leave the country at any time has enraged the public opinion. For those less fortunate, it seems the only way to obtain the needed papers is through illegal means, for large sums of money paid to unscrupulous profiteers who know the right pockets to grease. Concerns have been expressed by many that such restrictions